Rugged and fearless, there's a new type of soldier ready for combat. 2,500 of these little machines, called packbots, are currently used by the U.S. military in Iraq and Afghanistan. As demonstrated at this industry show, they conduct video surveillance and detect bombs so that human soldiers can stay out of harm's way. And troops today are as well versed at waging war with a joystick as with a gun. So one of the advantages of the game style controller is that soldiers these days have a lot of experience playing video games when they're growing up and they're really familiar with these controls. So this really reduces the training time on these types of unmanned ground vehicles. There are now more people being trained as unmanned aircraft operators than as pilots. This surveillance airplane can track a target hours longer than one flown by a pilot because it doesn't need a break, other than a fuel top off. Most are directed on the ground in a command pod like this one, located as far as hundreds of miles away from the aircraft. There's someone who monitors the plane's movements, someone who observes the radar, and a camera operator who zooms in on targets. With a few clicks, you can do everything that needs to be done. The aircraft is doing everything on its own. It takes off automatically, it does a preset mission, and it will land automatically. Defense contractors are developing several shapes and sizes, some small enough to fit into a backpack. This one sounds like a lawnmower and looks like a flying soda can. Its mission? To find improvised explosive devices. From just a handful, the U.S. and other militaries around the world have expanded their robot forces into the thousands since 2003. And law enforcement want them too. What looks like an unidentified flying object over a neighbor's house could be a local U.S. police department getting in on the action.